One of the inspirations in my life have been my grandmother and my mother. Um, my grandmother uh, relayed to me information related to the cactus mucilage and how the cactus can be utilized as a technology to uh, do drinking water and how effective it is to remove particulates and um, debris and bacteria. So she was one of the inspirations for my work. Dr. Elkintar is very supportive and very motivating. She always very enthusiastic about her students. She cares not only about her students to perform the experiments, excellent experiments in the lab, but also she cares about the careers and the life goals of the students. You know, I consider Norma to be a very good colleague. Uh, she has been very helpful to me and uh, we have worked together on many projects. Uh, I always appreciated her friendliness and uh, ability to to make the best out of uh, everyone. She, she has helped uh, a lot of my other colleagues as well in the department. So when I came to USF, I asked one of my first postdocs to do some experiments on that. He was able to prove that in fact by adding cactus to dirty water it will clean. Um, the debris and the sediments better than if you don't use anything. So that was really the inspiration to start looking into natural materials and how they might work develop into looking at new ways to utilize these natural materials for technologies that are needed. I learned about Norma and her research during her initial tenure and promotion process from assistant to associate professor in 2009 the most important step in a professor's career. I remember looking through her package and as a woman faculty member in engineering, it's not very common to see credentials such as hers. I saw a lot of potential and that's what put Norma on my radar. By the time we received her package for promotion to full professor in 2015, I saw exceptional growth in leadership roles, grants, published papers, and patents, which demonstrated an extraordinary impact in terms of innovation, invention, entrepreneurship, not only in Florida, but around the world. Without a doubt, her achievements enable her to stand shoulder to shoulder with the very best researchers in her field. She is a winner. This is a material that can be grown sustainably in low-income communities. This is a material that can be used to if now to clean sediments, but what if it can clean radioactive materials? What if it can clean um, bacteria? What it can, if it can clean any other elements that contaminate water? I work with Norma uh, um, studying cactus mucilage. Uh, define scientifically what the mucil mucilage was capable of with drinking water and then I got my degree and I left but because Norma was such a such a great leader she had led me to a place where when I left I left a lot of work and one of my life's goals was always to be a published author and I always thought it was something that I was going to accomplish after I had a long career and I had time to write something but by the time I was 30, because Norma and her and her um, her drive, I was a published author, and I could you know check that off my bucket list. She is a powerhouse. I nominated Norma for this very prestigious recognition for her outstanding and innovative discoveries and technologies which have critical implications for some of the most challenging issues of our time. Congratulations, Norma, not only for tonight, but on your recent promotion to Associate Dean for Research in the College of Engineering. You are a shining star, and we all look forward to what's next. Go Bulls!